Hey guys, I wanted to make a review of this uh, crankset. This is a Raptor crankset uh, from a Rotor. So uh, this is a well, let's say they they say it's a modular crankset, right? So the, the arms, uh, the axle, and uh, the chain ring come separate, and you kind of build it, right? So I make this uh, video uh, principally because it was such a hassle it was a nightmare to install this fork so sorry this um this crankset so uh, uh, as you can see it is installed i'm using it so i'm keeping it so uh, in terms of performance it does its job well uh, no issues there uh, i think there are no, no issues in general uh, when using the the crankset but installing it is a nightmare um let's let me start with the chain ring so i order a chain ring uh, all these uh, ch uh, chain rings are supposed to be um, uh, compatible with each other i mean the uh, direct mount uh, something like that it's called so the capic the raptor and the hawk uh, use the same uh, chain ring and they should be compatible but i order one it didn't fit there was play to the sides uh, i just couldn't fit it and i thought oh maybe i need a spacer or something like that but in any case, I returned that uh, that ring. Uh, I contacted Rotor and they said, yeah, okay, now they are compatible. Just to go ahead and uh, put more torque at the moment of installing it. I ordered a second one. Uh, the first one said for Capic. This one said for uh, Hawk and Raptor. Uh, and this one did fit. So there is no play. It's uh, tightly secure. But the amount of force, the amount of torque that I had to apply to this screw was insane so I think I did uh, I had to apply the same uh, strength that I uh, would apply to a car bolts you know like or, or maybe an, a, an SUV bolt so it, it was insane so it was too much force you know just for this thing to stay secure I did it because they told me to uh, to put uh, that that amount of strength uh, also uh, the axle so I have the bottom bracket is also from rotor I'm gonna put the model in the description, but it's the one that fits um, this axle, you know, and my uh, bottom bracket. So, um, uh, sorry, the, the, the case, you know, um, and, and this one is from Rotor. And to put the axle through uh, the bottom bracket, it was, oh my God, I had to, it was insanely hard. I had to use a mallet, uh, like a rubber a hammer, and hit here. But I hit too. It hit. I hit so hard, like in like crazy hard, you know. Uh, in the end, I put it through, uh, but I had to take it out. I don't remember the reason, but I had to take it out. Um, and at the moment of putting it again, uh, because of the amount of force that I have uh, that I, that that I was hitting it uh, with, the bottom bracket came out on the other side. So I had to install the bottom bracket again. So. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it cannot be, it, it should not fit like that. I contacted them before doing this. I contacted them before, uh, let me show the other side, before starting, uh, uh, before I started hitting this, um, this seam. And they said that it should uh, have a tight uh, fit, you know, that, that, that I should go ahead and hit it with the mallet. And, oh my God, it was just so complicated. Now on this side, it was the same story. I had to... Uh, apply so much force uh, to this thing to make it fit i mean seriously it should not be it should not uh, i think the tolerance uh, for these parts is too small so uh, if you ask me uh, i think the manufacturing of these things is not optimal i mean it's there it's done it works but you know it, it's just too complicated to install it, this is not the, fir the first crankset that I um, installed. It is the first for a downhill bike, for a downhill frame. Um, but I do not think that it should be like that, you know. Uh, all of my other cranksets, I can just put it with the hand, you know. Uh, maybe I have to hit it, you know, maybe with the mallet, but really softly, not, not like crazy, you know, not like going ahead and destroying the thing, you know. So anyway, so that's what I wanted to... Uh, to tell you know you know about this crankset and maybe I got a bad one I don't know I got it on sale but I don't know you know if you ask me uh, 
yeah, I don't know. I chose this over um, and the one that was, so I bought the frame and it was uh, for, uh, when buying the frame, I had the option to buy um, Trubatif uh, Descendant. I think, well, my recommendation is uh, if you buy a commensal uh, Supreme uh, frame, I would say go for the Trubative uh, Descendant. You do not have many options for uh, downhill bikes uh, in terms of uh, cranksets. So, uh, that, that I know is uh, you can go for the Trubative Descendant that is from SRAM. You can go for the Rotor, you can go for the Shimano C, and maybe for the Saint. So uh, there are just a number of uh, cranksets. There are not that, that many, you know, that have the axle uh, of the right uh, length. Because that's that's the complication, you know, at the moment of buying a crankset for a downhill um, a frame. Anyway, so uh, that's my review. So uh, my two cents is, yeah, go for in terms of installation, go for something else. It looks cool. It looks cool because this thing you can buy it in several colors, so you can match the colors of the bike, uh, and it performs well. So if you, if you don't mind about uh, spending quite some time. And going through the hassle of um, installing the crankset, then yeah, it is okay. I mean, I did it. I didn't know that it was uh, so problematic. If I had I known, I wouldn't have um, buy it, you know. But if you don't mind, it looks cool. It looks uh, nice. Uh, it performs well, so that's not an issue. But at the when the, any time that I would have to take it out, it's gonna be a hassle. It's gonna be uh, really complicated, and probably uh, uh, by Taking it out and in, I'm going to uh, uh, destroy the bottom bracket and I will have to buy another one, you know, and that implies installing the bottom bracket, which is for this bike, it is a press fit, so, <laughs> you know, not so easy to install, well, not so hard either, but uh, but it's a hassle anyway, and it's not so cheap. Anyway, so uh, that's uh, my review. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. And if you want to see an overview of uh, this bike that I built, uh, there is another video um, in my video. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.